Um, honestly, I can't understand because like, can you even see anything? That's my hand in front of the camera. It's that dark. Yep, that was all shot on the Realme X3 Super Zoom. That's Realme's new flagship phone and in this video, we're unboxing it, doing a camera tour and, well, trying out the cameras for the very first time. Remember when I said, Realme has now also started dipping its toes into the flagship category, but that's for later. Well folks, this is that video. Hello you beautiful people, welcome to Isa Does Tech where we do tech in your real life in style. So in this video, we're doing another Realme unboxing, but it's pretty special. This is my first look at the Realme X3 Super Zoom and if you don't know what the big deal is, basically it's this. This is a flagship device. Stuff on this phone is supposedly cream of the crop, top of the top, best of the best. Let's see for ourselves. This is a first for me too though, so we're about to find out what a Realme flagship is like. Up front, we have X3's Super Zoom, the Realme branding. On the sides, we have the same thing. On the back, it says that this is a Snapdragon 855 Plus 64 megapixel AI quad camera with 60x. <gasps> Super zoom, <laughs> a 120 hertz ultra smooth display, and a 32 megapixel plus 8 megapixel dual in display selfie setup. According to this too, we have the white version and the 12 gig 256 gig version. Impressive specs. Here we go. Welcome to the Realme family. Thank you. And here we are embracing a new journey as per Realme. Quick start guide, jelly case. Finally the phone. But we're setting this aside. Power brick. USB-C charging cable. SIM eject tool. And nothing else. Right, phone time. So as you can see, there are four cameras. That is a periscope camera right there. That can do five times zoom and up until 60 times hybrid zoom. Not sure if you can see that, but it basically says that there's a slot for SIM number one and SIM number two. Let's open this up. Wow! So it may look like a typical Realme phone, but as shiny and nice as that is, that's actually pretty matte and no fingerprints. So that is Realme's new anti-fingerprint tech and wow, I like that. Legit. Sort of reminds me of marble actually. So, okay, on this side you have two buttons, volume buttons. On the other side, an unlock button that also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So now that we're on the back of this phone, if you look at that back, you sort of see that there is a graceful curve. That means a better in-hand feel. I mean, in general, this is a very solid feeling phone. It has a good weight to it. That back really gives a nice feel to it. At the bottom, speakers, USB-C port, mics, and the SIM tray. Up top, that is another mic. Right, so you know what's next? We're turning this on and then a montage. It's camera tour time! Now, you might be new to this channel and you might be one of those people who feel compelled to question 
how and why I shoot what I shoot so I'm shooting in front of the mirror so that you guys can get the whole experience you can see the front and the back of this phone also I feel like it helps show what the camera can do because you sort of see the distance of the reflection and what it shows in the camera okay okay now before we start let me show you how fast and responsive this phone is I know that on video it probably might look very 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 similar to the 6 Pro but in person that matte back is just wow right hello hi guys so this is the one x on photo to x5 x Ooh, look at my earring and that's the 10x so this phone can do optical zooms up until 5x and then past that it can actually do up until oh my gosh that's crazy 60x so that's like the tiny little bead in my earring also it has a wide angle camera hi so up here you have hdr settings here it has ai it says ai dazzle color right now and is switching my shot to portrait here we have different filters and here we have frame timer and then settings on portrait as you can see behind me everything is blurred you have 1x 2x oh that looks nice look at the phone and then can we do a wide no there is no wide you can adjust the bokeh settings over here you have different filters timer settings down here you also have the AI beauty mode there's a 64 megapixel mode because the main camera on this thing is 64 megapixels and it uses pixel binning to take better shots but again it gives you the option to shot, shoot shoot 64 megapixel photos okay more you have time lapse text scanner ultra macro mode nice best quality at four centimeters there's also a slow mo mode that can do 240 fps 480 fps whoa that crops in and 960 fps you also have the expert mode and you can do a 1x 2x 5x up until oh no zoom can it do a wide no wide either although oh there you go you can switch camera see that's the wide and then this is the telescopic lens nice dude it's even focusing on that disco ball behind me <laughs> that's crazy and then on this mode it has ISO range of 100 to 3200 shutter speed of 1 8 thousandths of a second and 32 seconds so white balance autofocus exposure you also have pano mode let's move on to the other side then oh my god my discord won't stop so on video you have a wide hair yeah. <laughs> one x two x five x oh it's focusing on the disco ball again 10x guys look at that and then zoom up until 30x so that's wide to 30x on video and then of course you have the beauty mode here up top a flash ultra steady mode is that cropping let's check and then there is ultra steady mode max the hdr toggle is up top too then you have the bokeh mode on video i really like this you can even adjust the bokeh mode too different filters <laughs> it can shoot in 4k except the wide isn't supported and that is a 60 and 30 fps option ultra wide not supported on 60 fps okay we now have the night mode on here 2x 5x <laughs> it's crazy how they're seeing the background that's 10x up until oh this is gonna be 60 huh 60x yeah there is a tripod mode which is what we've seen on oppo devices so basically this is when you should 
use a tripod because it's a longer exposure. There is the starry mode. So this is a special feature of the Realme X3. It's supposed to take really, really nice starry night sky photos. There's also a pro mode on night mode. I've not seen that. That's cool. This, it says here, pro nightscape on. Keep your device steady. So I'm assuming this is the mode you use when you take photos of nighttime situations but want to tweak around the settings a little bit. ISO, shutter speed, white balance, autofocus, and then yeah, frame timer settings. Hey, uh, oh my gosh, my hair. Okay, so you have a timer mode up here. So that's three, that's 10 seconds, normal shooting, a wide angle night mode and a normal selfie. Um, night mode here yeah. on video you have the same wide and normal you have an ultra steady mode there is also a front facing live bokeh love this feature different filters for effect beauty mode and you can shoot in 1080p with a front facing camera photos you have wide 1x can you zoom no beauty mode that is a more detailed beauty mode than the others we've seen flash hdr what's this <laughs> the different filters of course do we have yes gesture to take photos and then we have the portrait mode you cannot do wide or zooms here and yeah more right that was it for a quick camera tour um a few samples up next okay okay i know usually in this part of the video i do a quick camera test just so you see what this phone can do but since i do dedicated camera test videos now i figured we'd skip that part sort of i am still gonna show you pictures of the dog that is the QT Nala in wide, 1x, 2x, 5x, and 60x. Some Uwe Pandesal baked by my friend Pat because oh my gosh, these just look amazing and taste amazing. Seasig Sushi Bake, and that's honestly really a great shot because when I shot this, the light wasn't so good. And yeah, if you've seen my videos, you'd know that this is a thing for me. I like wide angle selfie cameras because especially for stuff like vlogging or shooting yourself while gymming, it's just perfect. This is the difference. The right side is the wide angle and the left is the normal selfie shooter. And this, folks, was shot on like pitch black on starry mode. Um, honestly, I can't understand because like, can you even see anything? That's my hand in front of the camera. It's that dark. And like, I didn't even notice there were stars. This is the same shot with the fill light. Again, where are the stars? <laughs> Okay folks, that was our unboxing of the Realme X3 Super Zoom. It's a very promising device in terms of everything that's in it. Though the design is pretty similar to the Realme 6 Pro, that mad back really just is honestly an awesome touch. We don't have the price for this device yet. There will be a Philippine launch on July 9. Also worth it to know that the phone coming to the Philippines is a top tier 12 gig, 256 gig one. Personally, I'm pretty curious to see how they're gonna be pricing this device. We all know that Realme has been killing it with budget and mid-range devices that offer so much value for money. Will the Realme X3 Super Zoom be the same? We'll find out. Like always, I will be testing this phone out more, so let me know what you guys want me to try out with this device in the comment section down below. Right, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think about this new phone. If you want to see how I use this phone on a daily basis, you can find me online. That's at Cisa Said. We also have a Discord chat, so come join us. Until next time.